there's other populations that don't get along with them, right? How many Jews have been beaten up by by blacks in New York or, or you know, Puerto Rican gangsters or whatever? Right. Hundreds, hundreds. But because they don't care, because it'll hurt the white people more. Because it'll undermine white society more and they can just turtle up in their ethnic enclaves, right? All I want is an ethnic enclave for me and mine. I, I'd love to live in in uh, like a Hasidic like a, a, a Hasidic neighborhood type situation with a bunch of white Catholics. Oh wait, we had that. It was <laughs> it, it was called Brooklyn, yeah. right? I was going to say <laughs> if you were Irish, it would be Philadelphia. Yep, thank you, Pete. <laughs> yep, as you say, it was, it was sections of Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. We had that, and then it was destroyed by whom? Right. Yep. So, mm -hmm. so th there's no living with these people because they don't have any empathy whatsoever for anybody. Yeah. What's up, everyone? How is everybody doing? Hey, Dustin. I got super chats over already over on, uh, on entropy adrian great super chat thank you it says thank you for your work pete live streams are great all the best adrian thank you adrian andrew over on on um entropy whatever your beliefs or your ideas for solutions one thing is 100 percent for sure we all live on jones plantation yep the fact that it's a kosher plantation doesn't make it any better and dustin clausen my friend dustin Thank you, uh, thank you, Pete, for your Camp of the Saints episodes. They are pure gold. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, let's get cooking. Let's see where everybody is. Hey, everyone. Those air raid sirens is not just me. It was Wolf Larson. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Israel be like we didn't do nothing. Oh yeah, I mean they're the, the they're the biggest din do din right now. It's amazing. Yeah, like hit the like button wherever you're watching. Hey, what's up? Maybe next time. How are you? Is there even a like button over here? I don't know. There we go. Rumble. What's up, Beach? Hey, what's up, Brandon? Hey, Anna, how are you doing? Thomas777 on Nulty is mind-blowing. Yeah. Can't wait for the new episodes to drop. That'll drop uh, a couple hours. We re recorded it yesterday, last night after all the news came out, and um, Thomas decided to talk about Zionism and Nulty's take on Zionism, and I think that people are going to really like it. Because it really uh, points out the fact that Israel is a nation that, if you look at the 20th century, the wars that were fought, the uh, millions and hundreds of mi hundred million people that died, Israel is an anachronism. It's like the first half of the 20th century, 100 million people had to die, so countries like Israel didn't exist anymore, yet they continue to exist. Let me tell you some good news about Israel. Israel can't keep going. No matter what they are, no matter why, no matter what they call themselves or why they created it, they're multicultural. They're a multicultural society. You have these really right-wing Jews, right-wing for Zionism, Jews, and then you have Tel Aviv, which is the the gayest city on the planet. How does how does that work? How is that not how are those not going to clash? I figured this out and when it came to me after Thomas and I recorded. Israel like the free state project is just trying to do what Israel did. did. The free state project is moving in they're surrounded by people that hate them and they're multicultural and that's what's going to be their downfall that's why they'll never 
be, do, they'll never be able to accomplish anything because they're multicultural. They don't, there's not one culture. Libertarianism, libertarian is not a culture. Economics is not a culture. Bitcoin is not a culture. It's not something that you can build anything around. The Free State Project is just like Israel. I think that, um, I can't remember what, what the guy's name was. Samuel Conkins that called it um, anarcho-Zionism, trying to move everyone into one place and um, you know, on a grand scale like that. I think you could do it in really small towns, but I mean, a state where there's over a million people and you're surrounded by your enemies and you've told them what you're planning on doing. Good luck. Oh, you're welcome, Darla. Yeah, I mean, a joke, a complete joke. The Free State Project is... The best thing to come out of the Free State Project is there are some really good people associated with it who are coming together, and now you know they can be. Hopefully, they'll concentrate on localism and take it down to towns and things like that, smaller things. So, a couple more super chats over on uh, um, entropy, disimperium. Happy Sunday, all. Thank you, Douglas. Douglas always here. Hey, Pete, made it back after a two-week hiatus. Any plans to have Daryl on again soon? Possibly. Might be something happening. Steve from Fox and Sons Coffee. The If, you, if you've heard the ad for, um, if you've heard part six of Camp of the Saints, there's an ad in there for Fox and Sons Coffee. And there's, uh, in the show notes, there's, links to links to fox and sons and a discount code definitely check out fox and sons it's fox n n as in n as in n, n, um sons.com and i think the promo code is just pete uh it's the coffee i drink every day this is what we what kelly and i drink every day so all right let's see Maybe next time says the Nolte series with Thomas is very enlightening. Very much so. Yeah. Uh, we got, hey, what's up, Iron Shirt FE? You don't have to grab the Gumroad episode after this. You should have access to it. Speedboat full of illegal aliens landed on the coast of South Carolina. <laughs> you can build around greed. Pete, what would your explanation of the power a sheriff has? All of it. Everything. Do anything. I mean, basically a sheriff can, when it comes to the feds, the sheriff, the feds cannot operate without local help. If the sheriff said, if the sheriff says, we're not going to help you, they have to do what they did in Waco. They have to go up behind the sheriff's back and go in guns a blazing and end up getting dead, getting four people dead. Okay. So I think they learned by that. The coupon code, Stephen says the coupon code is Peter, P E T E R. No one calls me that. UFC fighter, shout out Mises and Octagon interview at the 300 over under on fighter quoting Goebbels by UFC 310. <laughs> Uh, but how does this put the woke away? <laughs> and then if you have a really good sheriff, they deputize all the males in the community against the feds. Yes. Well, I mean, they, they, can, Pete, they can, they can't get away with doing Waco again. There's just, uh, there's too much social media. Remember what happened at uh, the Bundy ranch. I mean, they lost at the Bundy Ranch. Sure, they went up there and they killed Lavoy up in up in Portland, but that was just because the Bundys just they spread. They shouldn't have went up there. All right, Let's see what else we got here. Big Brown Bear, Big Brown, Big Brown, twenty fifteen says greetings from Panama City Beach. Oh, have fun. Redneck Riviera, man. I have not seen Civil War. I'll probably wait until it's on uh, like BTV or 
one of the real streaming platforms. Let's see, am I on uh, Twitter X marking the spot? So what I played at the beginning was some commentary from Dark Enlightenment from the uh, some commentary from Dark Enlightenment for from the two hour and forty five minute episode we did reading um, uh, Loren Guignon's um, Israel the Psychotic Nation that I've read previously on episode nine ninety five with Aaron. Um, I don't want that going up on RSS feeds or on or on um, Twitter or um, I'm not even going to put it on probably Rumble or Odyssey. Uh, I just made it available for two bucks on Gumroad. If you go down into the comments on YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, uh, I just tweeted it out. Um, you can order it there, and I think I think it'll be worth your while because. With everything that's going on, I think it really explains where these people's minds are at, why they think like they do. Um, possibly, I think it really does a really good job of explaining the psychosis from a historical standpoint and from a modern standpoint, from from anecdotes that were. I, I think it's worth your while. So you know, and it also helps me out I'm doing some upgrades with the internet and everything like that. So. Um, if you're if you're a supporter, a monthly supporter, or a yearly supporter, and you you didn't get an email or access to it, email me and let me know, or DM me on Twitter or somehow, and I'll I'll get you a link to it. But otherwise, if you're not, um, you can go buy it on uh, on Gumroad. The links are there. How long before Iraq completely kicks us out? I feel like yeah, it should be should be very. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. It's lasted this long. They don't want Iraq does not want to be a staging area for invasion into Iran. I don't think Turkey wants that either. And Turkey would be the most logical place because I think Turkey is the would actually be a shorter distance to Tehran than anywhere in Iraq. Oh, thanks, Trash Can Jack. I think Iraq is staffed by U.S. Army. Didn't you know? It's a vehement. How are you? All right. Over on Rumble. What do we got? What do we got? Blue Northwind, Pete and Friends. Hey, how, how are you doing? Scary Guy 6. They made that fake Waco TV movie during the siege based on government talking points. The creators apologize year, years later. Yeah. I have an episode coming out with David Thibodeau on Friday. He, he talks about that. Hey, what's up, Wood Pit? Gonna have to listen later. Just wanted to pop by as I do every week. Time to soak up some sun. Have fun. Get out of here. What's up, Kunstler Krieg? Hey, how you doing? What we got here? Uh, Lindsey Graham finally got an erection again. Uh, what is it? Someone go in there and tickle his prostate. How about Azerbaijan as a staging ground? Israel Israel arms them to fight the Armenians. That's very very possible, but there's a big difference between allowing yourself to be armed by by somebody and allowing your to be staged to be a staging ground for an invasion. And let's just face the facts. I mean, I think I've gone over this, and definitely with Lee Enfield the last episode we did. I mean, unless you're planning on trying to do everything aerial, you're going to get your ass kicked against Iran if you try and go in on the ground. I'm sorry. The three American soldiers, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. They will never kick us out completely. They'll replace uniforms and more contractors, yeah. Miss Lindsay. We, we love the chosen people. Sure, that keeps the banking. But, um, yeah, Israel, you know, one of the things that Thomas and I talked about was the fact that there's not even a context for Israel to exist at this point. It, you know, people, people have been saying that, you know, 
the left is against them because of wokeness, because of this, because of that. It, they just, there's no, there's no reason for them to exist as they're the, the strangest country on the planet. I mean, there's no quote unquote ethnos, you know, you have an ethno state and people just look at that. It's not even like they've been trained to be woke because, you know, woke, you have to look at as something that is forward from the Nuremberg regime. It's all Nuremberg regime stuff as to why people don't, why, why the people who don't like Israel don't like Israel. It's because they see them as fascist. And in a, in a strange sense of the term, they are. feel like the Israel regime is just a boomer regime's last hurrah, desperately clinging to power. I, I mean, I don't think that it just doesn't, you know, Nolte talked about how the three strangest regimes, the three most out-of-place regimes in the 20th century were the USSR, the Reich, and, and Israel. And the, the Reich has faded from existence. Nobody wants, you know, Nobody, you know, nobody in the mainstream, nobody mainstream educated would like to see the, a Reich type of government redone. The Soviet Union is fading from memory. And now Israel is just this leftover from that time. I don't think Israel regime is right wing either. Well, I mean, there's certain parts that are right wing, but right wing in the context of Zionism. Israel could really only continue existing if the internet didn't expose who they truly are and what they, yeah, they, well, I mean, they just, it's so obvious what they are, and it's so obvious that it's against. If you get past boomers and 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 some Gen Xers who have been just brainwashed basically to believe that Israel is this you know nation that needs to exist, you're everybody's like, wait a minute, this doesn't even th this country doesn't make sense. Yeah, and throw into the fact that it is multicultural. It's a multicultural society. Which, you know, Thomas argues that, you know, Yaki argued that race race was not the only thing that would keep a society together. It would be a high culture. And, you know, you can just look at this country and see how many white people have, do what, you know, how many white people have high culture. And you know, most of the progressive movement is is white. Even if you want to say that the, the progressive movement was uh, Jewish inspired, still most of the people who are running it are um, a lot of heritage. I mean, I would say that a ton of heritage Americans have bought into it, mostly female, yes, but still. What about, the, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and, and they're, they're basically, they're existing now on, on narrative, but their narrative is completely opposite of what the narrative is here, of what the narrative has been built here. The narrative that they actually built through Nuremberg, through the author authoritarian personality, um, through, what was that? Um, what was that one? I can't remember. Shelley versus Kramer. Yeah, I mean, they built, this narrative here, but they don't adopt the narrative there. And now people are looking over there, they're not seeing the narrative and they're like, Hey, wait a minute, what the hell's going on? Pete Budapest says this, this week, my best friend in the world, 39 year old educated lawyer told me unironically that the Jews are God's chosen people. So I know they'll win. Oh, okay. D did you ask him how come, you know, why if, why they didn't win, you know, over with that certain event? Why did that certain event happen if they didn't win? If they're if they're going to win? 
Zach Frisbee says the dam is completely broken for people under 40. They're toast on both sides of the spectrum without that group. Yeah, I mean, they're... Basically, when you look at the Israeli... When you look at Israel, it's like they've... People in this country who you can call woke or you can call normies, you can call everything, they've embraced modernity. And Israel is a disruption of that modernity. Yeah, so what happened between 70, 80, and 1948? Yeah, for, yeah, 1492 in Spain, they were, they were winning hard, right? Yeah. Yeah, a Jewish state has never existed for more than 80 years through, throughout history. Yeah. All right, let's see how many we got here going. Uh, 242 watching on YouTube. Hello, everyone. An odyssey. Oh, got more here. Erdogan's wild card, no telling which way Turkey goes, in my opinion. Now, Erdogan's already talked about sending troops to help the Palestinians. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Blue North one, yay. Now my Odyssey video is playing. Hey, would it be okay if I share that Gumroad link? I want to try and get more support. And even before I see it, it's going to be worth the watch for anyone. Well, yeah, I mean, if you want to share it so that um, you know, more people can get and more people can buy it, that'd be great. Uh, Lavish Hoppian says, the more you learn about Israel, the more despicable they seem, like they deliberately impoverish the West Bank population using a license regime. Then they act magnanimous by offering work permits to few to do manual labor and construction, earning pennies by the on the dollar. Yeah. Yeah, more people, more and more people are seeing this. Let's see what we got here. Uh, uh, sure. Iran is a modern military. It would be hell, not Iraq's old Soviet. Yeah. It's where people can go to New Kazaria in the Ukraine. It's where they came from anyways. I used to argue with my grandmother about this 30 years ago. I wish I could see her now to tell her she was right. Maybe the Ukrainians don't want them. No one wants them, but at least they can have a... <laughs> Prayers for the West and Japan. They are starting on the multicultural train. Yeah. People love the I people love the idea of intersectionality points. Problem is Ashkenazis are a perfect 10, so they'll uh, I don't know. Is there a religion too? The rabbis are supremacists. Oh, and the rabbis are also um they don't follow the Torah, they're Kabbalists. Shahak talks about that in his book. Will Iran attack again? I don't know. Who knows if Iran even attacked? It could be the United States and all that stuff, and they're just blaming it on Iran. Although the Iranians did say that they did it, so I don't know. I remember when, uh, after they killed Somali, uh, Soleimani, Iran attacked back, and then Trump said, you know, they had to do that, so we're not going to, you know, we're not going to do anything. They had to save face. That's true diplomacy, actually. That's the way a leader works. America was bluffing that it would put boots on the ground if Israel ever struck directly and it just said, you know, they're succeeding in cultural revolution against Erdogan. Even when I was blue pilled, I was not retarded enough to call someone who doesn't like Israel a traitor. Oh, these people are just. Uh, uh, Zach, I think really. I think a lot of them are doing it because their accounts are monetized and they're just trying to make money. Yeah, I think that's what that um, Kurt Kurt Schlichter, um, Schlichter, I'm sorry. Um, I think that's what his account is. I mean, I think he believes it too, but I think he does it on purpose because he likes money. My account's monetized too, but I'm the worst at it. I get like 50 to 60 bucks a month. It basically pays for the blue, the blue check. So I agreed to send the wine. All right. Uh, more comments. Yeah. My grandmother said that everyone told the Jews not to go to Palestine. 
In a battle between a black intersex non-binary person and a pale Ashkenazi Jew, the black intersex person will get canceled for anti-Semitism. Uh, I don't think that that's that's not even in play at this point. I mean, that doesn't really have anything to that that has nothing to do with with what. I mean, those are the kind of battles that like Con Inc is concentrating on the spirit of the age is where we should be looking it would see it's, it's, uh, if it was an american false flag attack it would be full court press in the media yeah yeah you're right zach Crazy how these attacks always happen when the markets are closed. Yeah, that, well, it didn't used to happen that way, but it does now. Freddy is like, except for my Twitter shit posting games to get those shekels. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just, I try to spend less time on Twitter now. Uh, the spirit of the age is not suicide. That's not, that's not what the spirit, that's not what that means. Read Yaki. Did you see the genocide Joe chant that broke out at Trump rally and he leaned into it? That's great. <laughs> Why not? I mean, really. 90% of Biden cabinet is Jewish. I wonder if they have a leaning that will affect these foreign policy decisions. Probably not. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think there uh, people think that that um, the Jews are a a monolith right now. They're not. They're not. They're fighting against. There, there, there's intersectional fights happening within the in the Jews, especially in in Israel. The more you dive into Israeli politics, the more you realize they're as multicultural as us, and they're basically as screwed as we are. Anna says they got all that brainless to get riled up again, just like they did during Occupy Wall Street. It's just more violent. Uh, yeah, I, I think that I think that there are um, people of Zionists and Jews on Twitter who are trying to get people to go out there and commit violence by saying really outrageous stuff. Don't fall for it. We need you out of jail. Blaze 2019 says, I would think the Biden military knows they can't beat Iran without a draft. Absolutely. The Pentagon knows that. I mean, you, it, the Pentagon, the War College releases their papers all the time. They're, those are, that's something you should be reading whenever they release them. <laughs> Perpetual almost war, yeah. Took a week off Twitter three months ago and haven't gone back. Well, for the election, probably just for the fun. That's pretty funny, Harry. Hey, Justin. All DR people should support Palestine. Their opposition has too much power within our civilizations and not see the conflict as an opportunity to deal with these people a giant blow i think it's more important to deal them a reputational blow than to actually i mean do you really want them to have to leave israel where are they going to go how many of them have u.s passports you saw the the videos of the the if anyone who saw the video i shared today of the airport in uh in tel aviv I mean, they're they're fleeing. The airport, their airport looks like Hartsfield Jackson on Thanksgiving weekend. They fucked themselves over by alienating the red state proles. <laughs> yeah, it's as if they want to be hated. It it, it is. It, I think that's what it is. I think I think they want they want people to be violent. They want random violence uh, against them so that they can. Uh, try to win um, popular support, sympathy. Bless Lord, say Adriana. As Palestinians were smart, they would get on the good side of MAGA Inc. Yeah, yeah Rabbi Shmuel is just, I mean, that's an, he's an, that's an insane person. There's no way you're going to convince me that that guy is not out there trying to uh, provoke violence. Lavish Hopping says, I wonder if we'll see a reversal in the left's anti-white agenda now that white boys are no longer interested in fighting and dying for Israel and my democracy. Nah, I think that one has to keep going. I think they're going to try and keep that one going. The, the left is not, a, remember, the, the, these groups are not monoliths. 
They're not monoliths, especially when it comes to culture. Uh, bah, bah, bah. The wicked flee when none pursue. Yeah. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Problem is Christian Zionists, they never read. Oh. The army raised the initial entry recruiting. Yeah, they fled by bus to Moldova and then also to Israel. All right. What we got over here. I wouldn't be shocked if they shipped the Palestinians to Ukraine. Why would they give them? I mean, that would be giving them like some of the greatest soil on the planet. I don't think they would do that. Anyone who uses the term third worldist in my comments gets banned. It's a it, it's an NPC low IQ like leftist kind of trick. Use the word third world use the term third worldist, you're banned. I don't care if you're a supporter of mine, you're banned. Maybe we should train a large language model in the acumen of Mr. Pete's Twitter takedown mastery and let it lose in the wild. <laughs> they can reverse, they can't reverse the anti white agenda. It's the basis of the entire existence of the coalition. Yeah, it's their linchpin. Victimhood tied to one's identity and ego is a prominent feature of many political issues, JQ or otherwise. Yeah. But I mean, there's people can pull the victimhood card as much as they want when they, but it's really hard for most groups to do it unless they control the press and they control the narrative. If they reverse the anti-white agenda, their entire coalition crumbles. Oy vey, Pete. Remember, we have a trademark on victimhood. Therefore, we can never do wrong. The only reason Con Inc. started opposing anti-white rhetoric was due to Zioa issuing a statement to the ADL. Chabad is third world shit. Yeah. You don't get what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> third positionism is is legit. You can talk about that. Tunnels under New York City is first world shit, I guess. <laughs> of course they're fleeing. They never fight their own fights. God's chosen people have an emotional monopoly on getting people to die for them because of a stage pile of shoes. Yeah. Do not internalize vocabulary of our enemies. Yeah. The third world, this line is the secular form of Judeo Christian. Yeah. Yeah. It's people on their th people who use third world are either Jewish infiltrators or people on the right who have bought into neo conservative ideology, basically. I mean, I have friends who fought in Iraq and fought in Afghanistan and tell me that you know they they don't like muslims after being there it's like well yeah but you have to admit you're invading over there if you, muslims have a problem you know if you have a problem with muslims because you invaded their country okay sure but christians have always been safer in uh, christians and jews have been safer in in muslim countries than christians have been safer in countries where jews took over Knapp says, just Google the term third worldist. It's one of the terms made up for PR reasons. Absolutely. Thoughts on Israel being ripped off the map in 2070. Is it happening? I don't, I don't know. Why would you? They're, you know, they're going to go somewhere else. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm upset. It's only one group whose victimhood complex seems inherent and spiritual and not imposed by external forces. Supporting Ukraine as third worldist. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> also, anyone who says you <laughs> 
I interacted with someone who would say third worldist and would just was just a pro white only atheist, completely hardened heart. It's just it, it's NPC stuff. It's just you, it, it's a term you heard somebody that you respect say, and now you're repeating it without re not really thinking about what it means. Going for a five year nap, wake me up if Moses Elijah and Enoch return. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, out of date Cold War. It's just, it, it's ridiculous. Third worldist. I mean, look, if you say that, I can't have, if you use that term, I can't have any respect for you. And I mean, I just block people like that. There's no, why? Why? It, 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 people who use the term third worldist are the kind of people who want to see online debates, kind of people who love online debates. Jews and Freemasons are the eternal enemy. Of, uh, well, yeah, I mean, they definitely want to see Catholicism destroyed. That's for sure. All right, let's see. Um, another one from Lavish Hoppian over here. Ever read Ron Unz's The Myth of American Meritocracy? He makes a compelling case that, that Jews capture the old WASP institution with regards to admission into elite colleges. Yeah, I've read that. Yeah, it makes sense, too. So even though we've seen a precipitous decline in Jewish student achievement post-60s, this isn't reflected in admissions. Correct. Need for Sneeze said, I just assumed third world. This was just a summary of the West policy of replacing their native populations and third worlders didn't know it was an actual thing. Yeah. It's a it's a way for people anyone who um, says anything nice about Muslim about Muslims or Islam, it's it's a knee jerk reaction by people with eighty five IQs who don't realize they have eighty five IQs. Why is negotiation demon? Sully asks, why is negotiation demonized? Well, because you. I mean, it really started when you look at with Hitler, where you know you don't want to negotiate. You're not going to negotiate with them because you want you want them destroyed. So Putin has been asking for talks, peace talks, since April of uh, March of 2022, but you don't. You know, you don't negotiate with the devil, right? You don't negotiate with, you, know, you don't negotiate with Hitler, basically. And if you ever notice, everyone is Hitler. So, uh, what's well, so, this? So, uh, never heard the specific term. Not sure what the issue is. After my time over there, I'm fairly cool with Muslims, but like them, I don't want a bunch of foreign culture enriching my neighborhood. Yeah, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. But I can support what they're doing over there. I can support what they're doing in their own countries. Unlock says seven out of eight Ivy League universities had Jewish presidents up until two were replaced recently. Well, the one Claudine Gay, if, if that's her name, the one at Harvard was replaced by a Jewish gentleman. Let's see. Go back here. Freemason Lee, Freemason me, Kabbalah for the Goyim. You had to debate yourself, bro. Those who won't purchase the crime syndicate episode available on Gumroad will buy Shmuley's daughter's butt plugs. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, a lot of them are antichrist. Are there any actual thinkers left on the left? It really is just managerialism running. I, I, I like listening to Slavo Zizek sometimes. He, he's just because he has some great one-liners sometimes. This third world doesn't mean something outside the Cold War paradigm. A bunch of people want it to. Well, uh, KJ said, I always thought third world this was a term coined by the right to refer to libtards who want to allow infinity migrants into their country because of their first world opulent guild. Well, now it's a term thrown at people with podcasts and people like um, 
you know, people who have some kind of influence and everything who won't shit on Muslims all the time because apparently these people need them to shit on Muslims. And they're the kind of people who say, well, we can't take the Palestinian side. You know, you can't. OK, so all these years you've been screaming about banking, the press, feminism, all these things. And now when there's a chance for that, that group to be weakened, you're not going to because you just don't like the people who are doing it. Well, you're a fucking idiot. You're an idiot. And Sun Tzu would have fucking kicked it, smacked you in the head. Are we going to be getting another mostly peaceful summer? Man, I am. Uh, Tom Luongo, Gog and Magog, Putin angle is interesting. Yeah, that that is a good one. It is. I I need to I need to um find out more about that. So third uh, is that what you're saying? Third world. This means someone who's not aligned with the NATO or the Soviet bloc. <laughs> When I say it just means that I don't want to shack up with wacky swarthoids just because they, they just, uh, no one is saying that uh, no, the funny thing is no one, no one who is on the side of the Palestinians is, I mean, maybe there are some people who want them to come here, but I don't know anyone on the right who does. It's just a way, it's just a way for, for people Know, who won't show their faces to try and insult people who will. The WASP sided with the Jews against growing Catholic political power in America and then promptly abdicated their fear. <laughs> when you're used to dealing with boomer Republicans, you don't have to negotiate because they give you everything you want if you ever hint that they are racist, yeah. I'm bearish on a Trump win, to be honest, but whatever happens, regime collapse accelerates just in different ways. You don't negotiate with enemies of humanity in the human rights regime, anti humans. Islam's presence in Britain is being leveraged heavily to stoke up native support for Israel. Yeah, I mean, and I understand that. I under, it's a great, that's a great tool. Because I understand the, the problem with Islam in Britain. But why are why are they there? I know what the wind you know, I mean, I know the wind rush was Jamaicans, but I, I know how all of this started. That influence that brought them there is what needs to be destroyed. You can deport all of them, but if you don't destroy the influence and the spirit that brought them there, it's just going to happen again. What has happened to the circumcised tunnel digger? I don't know. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> yeah. El Oso says comes from the same people that brought up the Islamo fascism slop. It just tells me that it's it tells me that they do not understand who the real problem is and they're not willing to support anything that would weaken them. I haven't, Justin. Your grandmother has a special like of all the Sikhs in the Bay Area. Oh, thank you, Emendations. I appreciate it. <laughs> Put on my discs. <laughs> Oh, that U.S. propping up countries, without propping up countries up, Persia will be the largest power there. Have been for 25, but yeah, I have no problem with that. It's shocking how many Muslims are in the greater London area and others, yeah, I know. Muslim immigration is used to rev up boomer cons in defense of Israel, not the fact that the country, that the country their kids were inheriting is a shithole, yeah. 
Yeah, Tommy Robinson. Tommy Robinson has probably has a room full of kippas. The unconditional surrender, you know. Well, the wind rush, the wind rush is what started the immigration. Yeah, I understand the geezer. Yeah. I've never read secret proceedings and debates of the Constitution. I tend to stay away from titles that have secret in it. Uh, what are three things the average man should do to better their life, create uh, independence, um, work from, figure out a, a way to work from home for yourself, um, move to an area that you know will not be, will most likely not be overrun by, by hordes in the, um, in the events of, of, I mean, if there's a huge collapse, I don't think there's anywhere you can hide, but, um, you know, have a wife that's on the, on your side, sees the world like you do. That's really important. I haven't done, I haven't even, uh, Blue Devil, I haven't checked into Yarvin Rufo yet. I haven't had time. Been really busy this week. Sorry. Robert Yates notes on the convention, they were supposed to be kept secret. Okay. All right. That, that's, that's more interesting. Like Jordan Peterson says, or, or I was, both ends, is that Jordan Peterson or Jesse Lee Peterson? Hey, Anna, how you doing? What problems were caused by the wind rush in Britain? It started the influx. It, it's it, go read. I, I don't want to get into it on this. There's plenty of articles you can go read. It's like asking, what's the problem with immigration from people who? aren't part of your culture well it starts to break down your culture now doesn't it yeah i i think that rufo doesn't have those larger answer have answers for larger political problems but you know i'm i'm willing to just let him work as long as he shut as long as he shuts his mouth about right when you know about oh anything far right and he keeps the multiculturalism to him uh, 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 don't get me uh, let me see all right over on odyssey saying um I thought third world, this was a polite version of saying savage street shitting cannibals. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's election year. There's been few happenings. I don't know. Maybe I'm just numb. Lavish obvious is I don't want Palestinian immigration. That's why we should support them. In my opinion, you want them to stay in their part of the world. That is especially the case since the Israelis are openly saying they want to force them out and into Europe. Yeah. That's what they want. I mean, They've already sent what a hundred million there. Uh, uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. Everyone thinks North Idaho is swimming with neo Nazis, so that helps. <laughs> Not to be mean, but Yarvin versus Rufo is like Aristotle versus high school. Yeah, I know. When it, when it comes to the big picture, definitely, definitely. Really appreciate you reading through Camp of the Saints. I'm reading the PDF also, but, but the audio and added commentary is missed. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't want to stop in the middle of um of chapters. So I just read the chapter and whatever I have to say, I wait until the end. On the plus side, Denver brought home another Frozen 4 champ. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the Minnesotans are just, ugh. 
But are the are the Minnesotans worse than the Bos the Bostonians when it comes to hockey? Rufo comes off as Ben Shapiroism repackaged in the body of a real boy. But do I think of Kanye? I mean, I, uh, he seems to be back into Kanye world, but it seems like he did some pretty good stuff. You know, I opened some people's eyes there for a while. I wish Yarvin didn't write like he was on a World of Warcraft forum, though. Oh, thanks, Emendations. Oh, yeah, that's uh, it's rough. Is the regime going to keep the Ukraine war going until the election, or will it collapse before then? I, I think they just... I, I think they keep it going as long as they possibly can. The Boston University goalie had a tranny flag on his helmet. Yeah, of course he did. I think Ye is an enigma, but I also think he's just, he's got mental problems. Maybe it's some, some form of autism or something, but I don't know. AJR. Sully over on Entropy. The Israeli military is pretty terrible, and it's why they, guys like Mark Levin and Benji, get so spun up. The condition of Israel's supposed nuclear arsenal is iffy. Yeah, you, you know, you really have to, when, when you take into consideration Israel, all the people who want to fight, all the people who are keeping this thing going, you know, trying to preserve this anachronistic form of uh, a state, they're all none of them are of a fighting age most of the people of fighting age they're you know, they're forced they have compulsory draft there i mean a, compul a compulsory service they're not going to be the best army in the world i mean if you if you look at our army and you see all these trannies think about where their army is if they have like the gayest city in the world after World War II, they kept the culture up. We would have conquered the Middle East for them. What a fumble. Sorry, my nose is whistling. Kanye has sadly strayed from God. Yeah. Yes. Do you think it's likely we'll get another summer of love like 2020? Feels like the media is desperately trying to find another George Floyd. Uh, it, definitely, if it looks more and more like Trump is going to win and they're not going to be able to put him in jail. Two hundred seventy people in Telegram chat. How many of them are supporters? How many of them are feds? I would figure ten percent are probably feds. Moreover, there isn't a Christian Zionist in America under the age of seventy or weighs less than four hundred pounds. It's hilarious. Tel Aviv, one big gay disco. You know what's really interesting, though? I, I mean, I don't believe this. I, I I believe nukes are real, but the the nukes are fake people. I mean, think about it. If anyone would have a who created the nuke, who 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 allegedly created the nuke, if anyone would have a, it would benefit them to have people believe nukes were real, wouldn't it be? Um, wouldn't it be Israel? I don't know what sort of utility a George Floyd summer would have if Biden is the president. Well, I mean, maybe they're trying to get rid of Biden. Um, Yarvin really showed his Jewishness in the Rufo debate with his ad hominem attacks. They can't help, himself, help themselves. I, I don't know. Americans don't want to lead soldiers for this. So the question is, will, well, I, I, you know, I question whether they will or not. Oh, everyone, um, 
I just want to mention again that if you're watching this on YouTube or Rumble or Odyssey, down in the down in the description of the show are the links to the episode that Thought Crime Syndicate did yesterday, which is not going to be made public on RSS feeds. It's only two bucks. You will enjoy it. I promise you. Two hours and 45 minutes of us talking about Israel and reading uh, Lorraine Guignot's Israel, the Psychotic Nation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think they want Trump for 2024 to implement the collapse, maybe. Uh, huh. All right. Let's see. All right. There. Up, up, up. Where can you buy an English version of Camp of the Saints? There's some Samastat version uh, copies on uh, on eBay that are under a hundred dollars. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I've been trying to trying to catch up on Zoomer historian stuff he's been doing on the Spanish Civil War. Uh, do you believe morally we have to be ideologically consistent in politics? No. There, you shouldn't be ideological. You should be about solving problems. Bukele ran for president first he ran for mayor of san salvador in the far left party he solved the crime problem and he's implementing bitcoin whatever you think of bitcoin i mean is he a libertarian is he conservative what is he no he just solved the problem that's all you have to do politics is about so if you if you want to play if you want to be a good politician solve the problems that's it Anna says, I keep thinking it will be America's last election, and it would be kind of funny if Kamala was the last one. That is pretty funny, actually. Yeah, I started watching the Condor Legion yesterday. I got about halfway through it. That's good. Should be practical, at least with Bible. But Kelly, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm not even seeing. Oh, because I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna. The the reason I ignored your comment, MF Core, is I'm not gonna sit here and shit on on Christian denominations. I'm not gonna cause division. I'm not. I mean, there's enough people who want to cause division, and if those people come at me, I will go back at them. But I'm not going to just go and cause divisions with people, especially with people who are friends of mine who are orthodox. Okay, maybe that's you. That's not me. But that's pretty feminine, actually. Bitcoin is so expats from El Salvador can send money back home without paying taxes. That's, I don't think that's the, that's the goal there. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, MF Core. I'll go back and I'll go back and read again. I thought you were. Are you aware? Are, yes. Yeah. I am. Um, now that I read that, all I saw was Orthodox, and I thought you were you were trying to get me in some. Um, yeah, I read that in Shahak's book. Uh, it's when you understand. If you read Israel Shahak's Jewish uh, Jewish history, Jewish religion the way he describes what rabbis actually believe now, it's a polytheistic sex cult. Now, I'm not saying that every every Jew who sits in, in temple b- 
believes that. And he even actually says that. He says it's almost like the rabbi is trying to get them to pray with him, actually tricking them when they think that they they, they could possibly be um, praying to Yahweh when he's actually getting them to pray to the this male and female god that it, it, it's it's insanely sick but thanks mf court thank you for clarifying that i appreciate it sorry i didn't want to come off like that but people are on these streams people always try and get me to shit on other people and i'm not going to shit on other people unless they've shit on me uh, any civil war books to recommend uh there was a good one. There was actually a good one that was written by a guy, Cato, uh, called, oh, I can't remember what it was called. But emancipating Slaves, Enslaving Free Men, something like that. Look up that one. That one was a good one. I'm not a firm believer in whatever floats your boat approach. I think that gets, that's what gets you castrated kids. Take care, Spud Ruckus. That guy's guy from V, that guy's name is John Cullen. You can check him out. He's on uh he's on Twitter. He's pretty active. Current ideological parameters or conservatism of conservatism are framed by those. Well, I mean if you listen to the episode I did with uh, CJ, I mean, rights rights are just used against you. Oh, I believe in universal rights for everyone. Okay, so then basically we have to let everyone in the country. Oh, well, no, well, that's not what what you said. You believe the whole world has the same rights. So we got to go start wars to you know, get people to follow the Constitution. No, that's what I... Yeah. Yeah. Rights are for... <laughs> rights are for certain people in a certain fr in a frame the the enlightenment was certainly a mistake shelby foot yeah shelby foot also shelby foot's uh books on it yeah the abbeville institute has a reading list on their website favorite alice in chains album is obviously dirt some people believe they have defeated God in debates, yeah. My upcoming interview with the Waco survivor looks interesting, but to be honest, I personally can't do Waco stuff everywhere. Oh, yeah, I know. We only talk about uh, April 19th, which is bad enough. Who lends how much to whom and for what purpose? I don't I don't know. Oh, thank you, Justin. See, yeah, it does seem like it's influenced from pre pre Judaistic sex cult. MF course says it was very uh, are a modern phenomenon, only a few centuries old. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, I think the thing that killed me was when I found out that like the Hebrew that is spoken now is like basically less than 200 years old this it, it has it's nothing like ancient hebrew at all it was just that the the zionists knew that if they were going to be a people and they were going to be a nation they needed a language which is why when people say well only english should be spoken in this country there's a reason for that Yeah. All right. Let's see. Man. Okay. There we go. Oh, let's see. Check over on entropy. Sully asked, do you always perceive your ability to produce content or were you ever a peanut gallery person? I mean, I was a peanut gallery person, but I also, like, as soon as I discovered, like, Ron Paul in 2007, 
I immediately started writing blog posts and um, there was, I think I have some blog posts that, on the daily poll that were, that were put on there. I don't think I had like featured articles, but there were blog posts. So yeah, I kind of do just like, you know, jump to the, jump to the front and um, want to talk about it and promote whatever my vision that, that I see of it is. Blue North one says the CJ episode was pretty good. Thank you. So we got 320 watching on YouTube. Hit the like button, people, please. 320 watching and 117 likes. And we got 24 watching on Odyssey at the time, I think. And got a bunch on Rumble, 173 on Rumble. So looks like we're we're over we're over 500 now. That's awesome. Let's see. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Uh, when am I get the super chats back here? I don't know. Maybe never. Um, maybe another like a month and a half from the time it was. They said three months. I could I could apply again, but. Who knows? Oh, hey, Harry G, man. Dr. Claire Foster is in the comments. Uh oh. How's your um? How's your holding out from having sex with white men? If until Donald Trump uh drops out. Thanks, Justin. Hmm. Sorry about the dead air here, guys. All right. Sorry to keep posting. Are you aware of the Nostra Tati? Yes, I yeah, I'm I'm very aware of it. I I talked to Michael I, I talked to e. Michael Jones. He talks about it all the time. <laughs> Have I ever done an episode on Helen Keller? No, it's, um, but the episodes, I, there was an episode with Mark Claire I did. Four Stringer 78 says, Pete may be interested in the Spanish Civil War. Now I want to know everything about it. Thank you. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. World War One and a half. Likes guarantees citizenship. Would you like to know more? The PayPal route is so simple. I don't, know that, I don't know what that means. When Allison Chains got to LA to record Dirt, the King riots were popping off. So they went to Joshua Tree and did peyote for a few days with Tom Maria Slayer. Interesting. I didn't know that. Definitely the peanut gallery. Dr. Claire Foster says she's staying strong, abstaining from white men. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see what we got here. Let me go over and check something real quick. Wonderful live streaming here. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Come along. Aha. Uh -huh. Huh. I thought more people would be interested in the um in the Thought Crime Syndicate episode. Oh, well, I guess we'll see. Stand in the back, stand by. All right. Well, I just want to thank um, Adrian again over on Entropy for that super chat. That was very generous. Appreciate that. It, it was interesting to hear Thomas 777 mention the Patetsi experiment. I grew up not too far from there. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, horrifying. Oh, thank you, Nicholas. I appreciate that. What am I currently reading other than for the show? 
Um, I've been leafing through, um, oh, what's it called? Mostly been trying to concentrate on Camp of the Saints, but while I'm doing, I have a lot of other work going on, but, um, not really anything, not right now. I had some people send stuff. Um, one second here. There we go. All right. Um, Trash Can Jack says, buy the Thought Crime Syndicate episode or I will be forced to Fed post. Oh, thank you, Nicholas. I appreciate that. Yeah. No, oh, it's, I mean, it, it was bound to happen. We knew, we knew it was going to happen. I only blame it on one person and that person's time is coming. So. Spoke more with, spoke more with Anthony today. Anthony Romando, lawyer extraordinaire. Two hundred years together would be a monumental read aloud. That'd be long. Yeah, there's probably a chance that I know Thomas says that um his favorite book on World War One is is younger, so are you the only one who is completely not emotionally invested in the twenty twenty four election? I don't know. I, I mean I'm interested in it for the same reason that most people are interested in it is, um, you know, it's, well, I mean, I have a show, I talk about things, it makes, it makes things interesting. Um, but do I think it'll change anything? I don't know. I don't know. Yarvin saying that he thinks that it would be good if the like the Republicans had the House and the and the Senate and Biden like won again just to show the how ridiculous you know just to continue to show how ridiculous the country would become that's not a bad idea. <laughs> that's hilarious, and of course. <laughs> First uprising against Ceausescu was in my hometown, November 87. They smashed a party headquarters. Second one in 89 was countrywide and it was over. Gee, I thought it was um I, I thought it was blue jeans and um Chuck Norris movies that that brought down Ceausescu. Hmm, weird. Trump would shut the border, but maybe go into Iran. I don't know if he'd go into Iran. I, I don't know that there's anyone who's stupid enough to do that. It just wouldn't make any sense. This whole thing seems like a nothing burger. Iran just flexing and showing Israel ain't got shit. Better reason to drag U.S. into war. Yeah, yeah, I don't see. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't, it's, if you know that you can't win a war against a country and it's an election year and you know that in election years, the people in power, if there is a war or a threat of a war, you usually get reelected, then you would do everything you possibly could to promote war was going to happen. Just James versus V-Dare, a real be bellwether for advocacy of anything. Yeah. Uh, it took six months of staging for us to go into Iraq, and that was basically free of any retaliatory action, correct? Yeah, that's a good one, Lance. That's a good point. It was hunger that brought him down. There was no TV, two hours per day, all news propaganda, dear leader stuff, yeah. Wasn't the point of GWAT to have Iraq as an American proxy against Iran, you mean? Look how that's right. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, remember they had the re- they had to do the redirection because um, they found out that going in and taking out Saddam just strengthened Iran, <laughs> and Israel just Israel lost their minds. Lantis, what do you think about? Um, what, is there any place in Turkey that they already have a base where they could stage from? If Trump isn't going to go after his enemies, maybe we are better off with the vote. Yeah, I mean, there. I mean, I, I I can make a list of people that he should go after right away. A lot of them are in the media. Next weekend, I'd have to see. I, I'd have to see. Email me, and we'll see. I doubt that's gonna. I doubt that's gonna happen. Our weekends right now are completely towards getting getting our um getting our stuff growing in the backyard or we're like 30 percent of the way and i don't know and you know i i mostly work during the week so mostly do most of this work during the week how would pakistan react to iran getting nuked i mean iran's not going to get nuked Turkey wouldn't let us stage there against Iraq. They won't let. Yep. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's what I thought. Trump is a Rubicon fisherman. He's a tease. I mean, even if he did cross to Rubicon, he just set up. He he'd pitch a tent on the other side. Gulf War One was a parade. Gulf War Two was a testing ground until it went bad. Yeah. Oh. Got a couple. Oh, El Oso, that's really generous of you. Thank you. Keep doing great work. Also, check out the demos of Dirt that are on YouTube. Some incredible lane that didn't... I will. I will. Writing it down right now. The Desperate Void. I've been binge listening, listening to your past episodes lately and heard your show on Game of Thrones. Do you do do you view Mance Raider differently since leaving libertarianism? I think Mance is Mance is one of those guys who um you know worked for the Night Watch, saw the bureaucracy of it, and um just decided it wasn't for him and went to the went to the other side. I had no problem with what he with what he did. I mean, when you look at the when you look at the regime he was working under that he, he served under. You wouldn't want to serve under them either. So. What odd, what's odd is Biden is telling BB not to go to war. I think there is a war between Jews and Israel. There is. Uh, UK backed BB versus the majority in the Congress globalist Davos Jews. Who Biden, yeah, I mean, there's there's obviously an internal war going on in israel israel everybody thinks that israel because they're all jews they're all in this they're not there there's different factions over there it's not a they may be all <laughs> let's pretend that they're all ethnically related um but they're not all the same culture so that's a that's a huge problem that's why israel that's why israel is not going to stand because they're multicultural no multicultural can st- no multicultural um society can stand turkey just said they won't allow the us to use your airspace oh, that's good yeah i mean people who talk want to talk about iran and want to talk about israel and want to talk about politics if if they bring up oh Obama gave them back the money that uh, gave them pallets of cash. It's not a serious person. Don't even continue the conversation. You're not gonna, you're not gonna have, be able to have a, a rational conversation about foreign policy with these people. They're just they're in the Breitbart. They they bought into Breitbart, and if anybody doesn't know, Breitbart was conceived in Israel, and is it's Israeli shell outfit. Yeah, the Iron Bank. Yeah, then if the Iron Bank were, if the Iron Bank are the Jays, then um, who were the um, what family would the um, 
Uh, Lannistersby. Yeah, yeah, gave them back their own money. I love how the DW kids lost their shit over Tucker pointing out. What do you mean, Pete? Oh, oh, Daily Wire. Kid? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you, I, I thought you said I read DR, not DW. And I said DW. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Because it exposes who they are. I tell you though, um, I really appreciate the super chats on Entropy today. They've been um, just thank you, thank you. Go by the um, it's a new episode, Tony. It's with the, the previous one I did was with um, Aaron from Timeline Earth. This is with the Thought Crime Syndicate. Yeah, this is not an old episode. This is new. Is not around the soft underbelly of the Russian Federation. Soft underbelly is kind of hard. Politics is downstream from culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, Pearson? Um, Daily Wire wants all the anti-Israel stuff to be woke libtards. Oh, yeah, that's another thing is if you... Uh, one of my favorite things now is when you say that, um, when you criticize, if you say anything bad about the Jays, they call you left and they call you woke because, you know, people on the left now are, are rebelling against the Jays. And then you just share that, share the video of the World Jewish Congress and that girl saying, Jews always do the right thing. And then the first thing she talks about is Harvey Milk, the pedophile. When you share that, they lose their minds because you know it, it just proves that they brought all this woke stuff into it and you know so they they're trying to use the whole woke you know oh you're a leftist if you say that jews jews are responsible for woke for woke culture oh really okay sure <laughs> DW, Daily Wire wants all the anti-Israel stuff to be woke libtards. As soon as conservatives push back, they freak out. Yep, yep. And then they'll just start calling you. They'll say if you if you criticize Jews, you're a leftist. Okay, sure, go ahead, run with that. Like, I care. Okay. I'm just going to retweet you and let everybody else go, um, you're retarded. Hope the slurping wasn't too bad. I keep forgetting to use my mute button. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Getting into about it. Yeah, the video. Woke for, for thee, but not for me. Woke equals, equals neocon boogeyman. Yeah. Hit tea party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the tea party was actually the... um. The organization of it, the initial organization of it was grassroots. And I mean, immediately within weeks, it was taken over. It was taken over. Yeah. It's wild how that happened so quick. And it always happens because, because conservatives are always looking for somebody to, they're, they're always, they always want to feel like, it, because of the populism thing, it's like, oh, we need everyone in here. We need a ton of people in here. And it's like, no, you just need a, a small vanguard. As soon as a ton of people start pouring in, that's when the, you know, that's when the um, subversives start coming in. So, yeah. I'm sorry, but if I was at the point where I was lecturing my fellow co-religionists about their state of affairs, in the birth of Christ, I would seriously examine myself. Yeah. <laughs> Tea Party was one of the fastest flash in the political pants. Yeah. 
Uh, it was just it was it was co-opted. It was subverted so easily. Wendell interview. Wendell Wendell and I are talking this week. Actually, I think we're talking Wednesday. I find it sad that even our own cannot verify videos before reposting. Saw Ryan Dawson repost a video from was originally from Ukraine. Uh, it happens. And if the if it works as good propaganda, who cares? The left does it all the time, and they're winning. Tea Party people were everywhere in my town. It was older people and families holding signs. It was a sincere movement at first. Agreed. I'd like to add Alan Namla Ginsburg to the rotation <laughs> of that were yeah, just like the contract with American Types. Yeah. This may be super blonde. I've always been confused by leftist Jews acting anti-Israel, but pro all the debauchery. Is it just political cultism? Uh, I don't get it. No, it's um they they see they see Israel as right wing. They see Israel as fascism. That's why. Yeah, they see Israel as fascism. Are you going to the Old Glory Club? Yes, I will be there. I'm not speaking, but I will be there. Daily Wire fucked up badly when they melted down over Christ the King. Good. Good. Love watching them melt down. Love it. Oh, it's so, it exposes it. Oh, it's it's so beautiful. All right, everyone, I'm going to get out of here. Um, if you haven't already, go buy it. It's only two bucks. Gumroad, the, the links are here. The links are in my Twitter, on my Twitter um, feed. Um, the video, it's two hours and 45 minutes. I guarantee you, you will get a lot out of it. It's four guys talking about the Lorraine Guignot, um article, Israel, the, Psychopath, the Psychotic Nation, um, who, you know, all of us have studied, read the books on these people. So, yeah, do that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. The ADA, we don't want white nationalists in the Palestine movement. First question, who is we? <laughs> um, all right, everyone. Thank you. What did Anna say to be 88? My first and only time I went to a tea party, they disarmed me and brought up McCain to speak. I was the only one who booted. That's awesome, Anna. That's amazing. All right. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I was yeah, I wasn't gonna do that to you. It was just uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say my piece. I I think that that is just a re reconsider that term. Reconsider it, please. All right, everyone. Thank you. You take care.